Slug Burgers. The official Slug Burgers of this championship are from White Trolley, the official Slug Burger of the World Slug Burger Eating Championships. Ladies and gentlemen of Corinth, Mississippi, and the world, we have reached the end of human history. There is no more looking back. There are no more tales to tell. There is only right here and right now. Tomorrow will take care of tomorrow. And here, under this blue umbrella sky, we await the swinging sword of justice, wielded by the Almighty Himself, to be heard the weak and to raise up the pure of heart. But this is the World Slug Burger Eating Championship. There is no bigger stage in all the world sports. Now is the hour when water is cold, and only the bravest and the standing to answer. You, sir, you have waited no more than six minutes for this contest to start. But I, and these weapons of transportation are about to take the stage. We've been waiting our entire lives. Waiting, but not preparing. You can't prepare for something that's awesome. It's like four feet long. The light is blinding. And right now we are touched on the trigger of all of our dreams. Right here. In this section. Sanctuary of salvation. This Mount Sinai of masturbation. This Colosseum of competitive eating. Four words. And the contest begins. Are you all ready to meet those who will eat? We've got our first contestant, ladies and gentlemen. She claims to have been working on her debut here today for the past 40 years. She told me, she told me that each and every birthday she celebrates by eating an entire chocolate cake. But I'm going to clear something up. She does this by choice. It's not because no one shows up in her party. Ladies and gentlemen, from Corinth, Mississippi, Hope Bain. <laughs> Our next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Tampa, Florida. Woo! Three things you don't know about Tampa, Florida until right now. The chief sport of Tampa is phosphate. Two, it has never actually reached 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Tampa, Florida. And three, this guy from Tampa, please welcome Brian Jackson. Yeah! Our next contestant is the undisputed Slug Burger eating champion of Corinth, Mississippi. He returns to this table once again to defend Corinthian honor against eaters from far lands, ladies and gentlemen. Does he stand a chance today against Joey Chestnut? Absolutely not! But is he here to try? He is! Ladies and gentlemen, one of your own, Chestnut Stark! Contest in Corinth, Mississippi without our next contestant is like a day without sunshine. A day dimmed by the absence of her radiance. That is because her smile could heat the nation of Canada and her kindness could tenderize a shoe, making it suitable for human consumption. Perhaps in a pop rock or in a stew. Last year on this day, she ate just three slug burgers. She seeks revenge. Please welcome Emma Poo.
Ladies and gentlemen, our next contestant is a computer analyst and the inventor of the Etatron 3000, a robot that can scientifically work out the results of any eating contest. Simply punch in the data, the food type, the contest length, the prevailing wind conditions, the addition or the subtraction of gluten. Is there ranch dressing? We ran the Etatron 3000 backstage. And here are the results of today's contest. A lot of slug burgers going to be eight. That is science. Please welcome world number 34 from Allentown, PA. Kyle, Bill, Myers. He's in 96 Hooters chicken wings in 10 minutes. Four pounds of shrimp cocktail in just eight, ladies and gentlemen. On this stage last year, he ate 11 and one quarter slug burgers in just 10 minutes. He's eaten eight pounds of pie in eight minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome world number 33, the man who needs no nickname, Matthew Rainbow. Get it ready. Yeah. Our next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, does not eat food. He bullies food into submission. He bullies food and then he takes food's lunch money. And then he takes that lunch money and he buys more food. And then he bullies that food. And the cycle of pain and torment continues from now until the last bird has flapped its wings, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not called competitive nice, it's called competitive eating. Please welcome world number 29 from Maryville, Tennessee, Sweet Tooth, Matthew Howard. <laughs> 253 oysters in five minutes. 25 Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. To celebrate Elvis's birthday, he ate 16 and a half peanut butter and banana sandwiches. He's eaten 118 chicken wings in 10 minutes. Rate number 25 in the world. Number one in the great state of Texas. From Keller, Nasty Nate Fibber. Ladies and gentlemen, last weekend, he fell asleep on the couch watching a Game of Thrones marathon. And as a half-eaten grilled cheese sandwich rocked up and down on his belly, the drool slid down the right side of his face onto the new cushions. And as he slept, he dreamt. He dreamt of great battles, not fought with swords or dragons, but with teeth and jaws and stomachs. In his dreams, he led a great army of competitive eaters against an evil slug burger a mile tall and five miles wide. And under his leadership, they ate and they ate and they ate until they were victorious. And then his girlfriend woke him up and said, hey, I need the remote. Real housewives is on. Ladies and gentlemen, world number 31 from Aurora, Colorado. He is a school teacher with a graduate degree of physics who a little over a year ago decided to finally do something with his life, which is why he became a major league eater. He is already ranked number six in the world. 28 and a half New Jersey pork roll sandwiches, 36 and three quarter hot dogs with buns. A very masculine man, a muscular man from Oxford, Massachusetts, Jeffrey Espar. You 
know what this song means. You know who our last contestant is. You know you are in the presence of greatness. He is part human, all American, the living embodiment of everything we hold dear in this great republic. And each and every time he stands at this table and opens his mouth, a giant beam of light shoots forth to illuminate the path forward in these dark times, my brothers and sisters. If he was born in France, his name would have been Joseph, and presumably he would have eaten a lot of croissants or chocolate egg there. But he's not from France, he's from America, and the rock upon which he stands is not made of earth, nor dirt, nor stone. It's made of hope, it's made of love, it's made of faith. And brothers and sisters, it is strong. I give you the number one right here in the world. The great Joey Taylor. Right. Let's pause right there. Let's pause and start the music on my cue. Come up the front. Okay. Come forward. You can't just work in the back. What's your name? Scott Sawyer. Scott Sawyer. Unless anyone has real objection. I know what it can be like in city life. I don't know this gentleman's bona fides. We just met. He seems like a regular guy. He's going to be our timekeeper. Because he was there when I said, where's my timekeeper? <laughs> Sometimes success or failure. We haven't even got there yet. Sometimes it's going to be a success. I like the confidence. Sometimes it's just about being in the wrong place at the right time. And so you were. I want you to stick with me and I want you to yell in my ear. It's a 10 minute contest. You can either use a countdown function or a stopwatch function. Whatever you feel comfortable with. You ready to do this? Alright, I like your attitude. Eaters, are you ready? Ready? Of course. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Joey. Let's go, action! Action! Alright, shush! In case anybody doesn't know, this is Joey Chestnut. <laughs> Joey Chestnut is the number one ranked leader in the world. Joey Chestnut is the greatest leader in the history of mankind. Joey Chestnut holds 42 world records, but does not, as of right now, hold the world's snow burger eating record. He wants to leave Coral, Mississippi with a medium-sized hangover, hopefully not one that's too big, and the world's snow burger eating record. Joseph, are you ready to do this? Like there's such a thing. Come, help me count it down on the time on a tradition. Get on it, brother. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Joey Chestnut reaches to slug number nine. He is on 
pace to break the Sony's world record. The question will be whether or not he truly wants it and how hard he's willing to work. And if Jeffrey Esper could push him to great peaks here today. Esper is working on what appears to be slug number eight. We're checking with Nasty Day Villa. Working on slug number six, the lucky six. He's absolutely neck and neck with Josh Miller and Sweet Tooth Matt Cohen. Josh Miller. Oh, man, oh, man. Man. Josh Miller is grinding. There's no two ways to put it. I'm not sure if he's found his rhythm in this time that he'll get. Sir, the time might expire. Nice and then you run. Sir, the time might expire. Sir, the time Number four, with what I can only describe as 
describe his great emotional and physical difficulties. She appears to be doubting her life choices at this point. We're approaching the three minutes to go, Mark. It appears to be all chest out in the center of the table. But if you want this gentleman, if you want this gentleman to set a world record, if you want to wake up tomorrow knowing that you have seen greatness, you will support him. You will support him. Three minutes to go. Like the universe, the sun is expanding, ever expanding, ladies and gentlemen, out into the unknown. They're keeping the balance of carbohydrates, the delicious protein, the lean protein of the slug burger. I remind you that these slug burgers are from White Crawley. When it comes time to choose the slug burgers, choose the slug burgers that champions from. Champions to White Crawley exclusively. They are elite slug burgers that are designed for speed. Pro grade slug burgers. I'm pushing two minutes to go. I'm seeing 35 pounds of chest rush. If he can finish two more in his place, the world record is here. for all our contestants. Yeah. I'm going to go through and tally these results. DJ John, hit the next track. Hold Keep these in. people occupied. I'll be right back here with the results in one minute. Thank you. Hold it in. Hold it in. Grow up. About it no more, she said Ooh, ooh, ooh Shut up and watch me, watch me Me, 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 me It's been a long
As a railroad enthusiast, I timed today's contest impeccably so that we could all enjoy He's up there for Norfolk Southern. You can tell it rings in E flat. The train guy. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh -oh. DJ next track! Oh, he's cute.